Honorable listeners and participants, welcome to day two of our God First Tea Worship Revival Week 2021 series. The title of our sermon today is The Walls Must Fall. The central idea is that our omnipotent, omnipresent Lord Jesus Christ, the world's breaker, is near. All, without exception, should allow him to break all the walls, blocking the road, the way to our spiritual, financial, and physical welfare. Oh, let us put Jesus first. Then the walls will crumble. We will get more of this topic by listening to our today presenter, a woman of valor, a woman for Christ, Dr. Justina Sam Okere. Good day, viewers. Welcome to God First 2021 Stewardship Revival Week. Day two. The title is The Walls Must Fall. The Walls Must Fall. Let's pray. Open our eyes, O Lord, that we might behold wondrous things out of thy law. In Jesus' name, amen. Our study today, it's taken from the book of Luke, chapter 19, from verse 1 to verse 8. And I would like to read it, Luke, chapter 19, verse 1, down to verse 8. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Mark the, day, the, the place, Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was a chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him, and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Fourfold. That was the story of Zacchaeus. And like I said, mark the place. Where was it taking place? In Jericho. The walls must fall. The walls had fallen long ago in Jericho during the time of Joshua. The walls had fallen when the children of Israel needed to pass through to the promised land. The walls had to fall and they fell. How did they fall? The physical walls was what was bro broken them, that was blocking them. Physical wall. And they sang and praised according to God's instruction. And the walls came falling down. They fell down. Today, we're talking about Zacchaeus in Jericho. The walls must fall. This time around, the walls are not physical. The walls are spiritual. The walls are social. The walls are, are, are emotional. Zacchaeus had a lot of handicaps, and those were the walls. Zacchaeus was not only a physically short man, but he was also spiritually short-sighted. He could only see the present need. And what was the present need? He wanted money, he wanted fame, he wanted power. And that's why he took the job of a tax collector. He so did it so well, according to his masters, the Roman masters, that they made him chief tax collector. Let me digress a little and let you know that when you are a minority and you have a majority influence around you that is a ruling party, most times minority people want to impress the majority. And so they go an extra mile of pressing their fellows in order to carry the, to the, the, the favor of the majority. I strongly feel that was what Zacchaeus did that made him to become the chief tax collector. No wonder he said that even those I've, give, I've taken from falsely, I give four times, four times. He knew there was something wrong. 
So part of the walls he had was his physical stature and spiritual blindness, short-sightedness, because he only needed money for the time and did not look at the future. And sooner or later, he lost his relationship with his, uh, with his kinsmen. The Jews hated him. That was another wall. The pride of riches was another wall. His position, he was chief task collector. Sometimes we carry our position so high that we don't even know the meaning of the office, of the work, the service. Unfortunately, sometimes even in the house of the Lord, people carry their positions, their office beyond the ministry that is called them to do. Watch out if you are there. Look at what happened to Zacchaeus. But the time came for Zacchaeus to have self-fulfillment. He couldn't get it. Money couldn't give him self-fulfillment. Position couldn't give him. The Romans couldn't give him. He lost his relationship and he was lowly. And he now remembered that stories around were Roman. That there's one man that when you meet, things will change. And so he desired to say Jesus. No wonder when he heard that Jesus was coming that way, he made haste, that's what the Bible said, quickly ran ahead of everyone because he knew he was a short man. He wasn't that big, so he couldn't stand tall in the crowd. And so what he did was he ran ahead of everyone, climbed a tree that he also could afford to climb because he couldn't have climbed an Iroko tree or a palm tree or something tall. He went to something that he could manage because of his stature, but it would give him an edge. Do you look at things that will give you advantage over people around you that will satisfy the desire of your heart according to God's will? Zacchaeus did that. And see what happened to him. When Jesus came there, Jesus looked. He said, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, come down. Hurry up and come down. You know, Jesus didn't say, where is he? Come here. Or somebody is on top of the tree like he did with him. And he says, Zacchaeus, he knew. That was God speaking. God knows the desires of your heart. He knows the walls that are separating you from him. Open your heart, avail yourself to him. And then he would do that work that he did for, for, for Zacchaeus. He would give you the opportunity. Zacchaeus needed things that money couldn't give him, the intrinsic values of time, of life, and he knew that Jesus could give him. And what were those things? Peace, love, joy. Today, people are struggling for wealth. But you know that after all of that, we still need peace. When you are rich, can you sleep peacefully? Sometimes people don't. Why? Because of how they get the wealth and where their focus is. The walls must fall. And Zacchaeus made an effort. Runs ahead, climbs a tree, say purpose in his heart, I must get my problems solved today. Once I see Jesus, I believe that this Jesus that impacted on other people, he will impact on my life and I will be the same. And so when that happened, now side attractions come. Some people were around and said, did you see? Look at verse, verse 7. And when they saw, who are they? He said, they said, they said. They were saying it here too. And when they saw it, they all murmured. They didn't call anybody's name because they are just a bunch of demons, uh, some distractors. Nobody is interested in them. So they murmured. He was gone to make guests with a man that is a sinner. Today, Jesus wants to come to you to make guests with you. He wants to be your guest. Will you accept to be like Zacchaeus? That the walls be broken? The walls should fall in your life. If you do that, it will not take any time. And you will see. What happens to Zacchaeus when he met Jesus? Zacchaeus realized that he was just very low. That his position didn't matter. That his money was useless. And quickly he said, Lord, Lord, I've heard the rumors. What people are talking about, I know. Behold, half of my goods I give out. How many people can give out what they have, even out of the little we have? Sometimes we hold so tight. Jesus dines with Zacchaeus, and Zacchaeus dines with Jesus. And Zacchaeus was happy, revived, renewed. And his relationship was also renewed because those people he extorted that made them to hell, hate him, he restored, he promised to restore, and the people were happy with him. The master, God, the savior that he broke 
the relationship by building a wall by position and desires of earthly things, the wall was falling down. The walls must fall in your life today if you must be his child. The walls must fall that the Lord will be first in your life because God is first. If God is first in your life, the walls must fall for you to get to the promised land. The walls must fall for you to live a fulfilled life. My brother, my sister, Avail yourself today. Surrender the world's position, academic attainment, wealth, social status, what have you, beauty, height, size, power, anything you can think of. Those are walls that separate you from the master. Surrender them today and your case will be better maybe. If not like Zacchaeus, who may be better. Jesus wants to dine in your house. No wonder Revelation 3.20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and I will dine with him like I did with Zacchaeus. And he will also dine with me. And he will confess and be a better person. Let us pray. I want you to open your heart and tell God what you desire as I say this short prayer. Lord, thank you because while we were yet sinners, you died for us. Thank you because you came and you lived for us. Thank you for you died and you resurrected and you are living for us today. That the walls of separation between us and you must be falling. The walls must fall. That God must be first in our lives. Be first in our lives, Lord. We surrender all the walls to you. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. My life to the